Um, I honestly can't believe I'm making this video again. Hey guys, I wanted to just do a quick sort of, uh, just a little update vid. I know I do these once, about once a year, pretty much every time I move. And uh, that's what we're here to talk about. I'm moving again. For the last couple years, we've been in Florida and I personally love it here. Uh, Jesse, my husband, not so much. So we're looking to make a change. We've been in Florida about a decade and you know, I feel like we've done it all. We've done all the theme parks, all the beaches, we've done the South, the Panhandle, we've done it all. So uh, we're just looking for something a little bit different. So a couple months ago, we decided that we wanted to go a little bit north. And as you may or may not know, most of my family's in Michigan and I just can't go that north. I, I went to Florida to escape Michigan and their Michigan winters. So uh, we're gonna kind of try to settle somewhere in between. So we decided that we're eventually going to make it up to Northern Kentucky. So that's an area that I really enjoy. Uh, every time we pass through it, because we drive to Michigan to Florida all the time, we say, wow, this is, it's pretty beautiful here. It's pretty nice. There seems to be a lot of nice people. And uh, it's just the kind of place that we want to try out. We've never lived mid country. I've lived in Michigan and Florida, and that's pretty much it. So I wanted to try something different. I can't say I'm too sad to be making the move. I do adore Florida, but the actual house that we chose and the location uh, were not super great. I will miss that excellent garage. Obviously we had the workshop there for the last year and a half and I've been able to make some pretty great videos. I mean, we completely rebuilt the Titan in that space. But it was time to pack it up and, uh, and move on. And if you've been a follower of the channel for any extended period of time, you know that this is absolutely nothing new. Jesse and I move around constantly. We've been together um, almost 19 years now, and we've moved over 13 times. So uh, this certainly isn't anything unique for us, although I would like to reduce how many times we move in the future. I loaded up the Xterra to like the absolute max and uh, everything was going well on our way up until the Xterra died on us, which was super, super annoying. I made a video if you wanna take a look at that, that's just a quick short, but the crankshaft position sensor went bad. It was the last of the three sensors. I replaced the camshaft sensors and then didn't replace the crankshaft sensor. So that was the original from um, however long, 17 years ago. So uh, kind of a dumb move, but it left us stranded at a rest area. Luckily, we limped it to just the nearest hotel and I was able to do um, all the work with just a little tool kit from Walmart and, uh, and just a sensor from down the street. So fixed it right in the parking lot, got back out on the road. I had a storage facility right in Kentucky, right in the Florence area where we want to end up living somewhere, you know, kind of somewhere in that area. So we dropped off all of our stuff there and then we moved to Jesse's mom who was living with us uh, all the way up to Michigan. So made the trek all the way up. After the crankshaft sensor was fixed, the exterior ran great the rest of the trip. So no worries there. And then, uh, and then we flew back down and we flew back down to no house. So I don't know if I told you guys, I bought myself a new camper. Uh, and we're gonna be living in that for a while. We think the housing market is kind of in a downward trend, right? I don't think anyone would be surprised by that. What we wanna do is kind of wait it out a little bit before we buy again. We made some decent money on the house in Florida, and so we just kind of stockpiled that, and Jesse and I are gonna go travel the southeast of the country in this thing. We're towing it with the rebuilt Titan, which is um, exciting and very, very nerve wracking at the same time. It's really putting all of my skills to the test, kind of stressing out our truck, but we've already been to Michigan and back with the Titan to buy this trailer. We actually bought it up there. So a couple months ago, we drove it all the way across country, picked up the trailer and then towed the trailer all the way back uh, without any issues. So, well, other than the oil pressure sensor, but that's, that's neither here nor there. It did, however, on our very first night staying in the camper, this thing died, um, but it was a super annoying little problem. The linkage on the shifter, um, the sort of plastic connector that held it in place broke off and it disconnected from the shifter. So when Jesse was parking the camper, he literally, it was still attached. We, we had people waiting for us on the road. The friggin' thing snapped off and he couldn't put it in reverse. So I had to climb under the truck and manually shift it with my hand to get it to work. Uh, and then I had to go figure out that fix. But I have that, that's obviously a video as well. That'll be right here talking about that. So where does that leave us? Well, uh, obviously I can't do any extensive automotive work 
in campgrounds, right? So I'm gonna be shifting back on the highly technical content. Obviously, if I don't have a garage or a, you know, a considerable amount of tools, it's gonna be difficult to do. Right now, uh, the Xterra is up with my brother-in-law. That's why we drove it all the way up to Michigan. He is working on his truck. He's gonna do a big job. So I told him he could use the Xterra while he does that. And, uh, and then they're gonna store it for us while we're kind of traveling around. I am gonna shift some of my content over to yet another channel that I have. Don't feel obligated to go look at it or subscribe or anything like that. Uh, it's mostly a channel for my friends and family. When I make, uh, when I go and travel and make videos, I have a little drone I like to fly around when we travel to different places, especially different countries. So what I might do is probably vlog a little bit about living in this camper for a while. So if that does interest you at all, go ahead, head over to my Wanderer channel and subscribe there. I'll put the link, you know, right here and, in, and down in the description, of course. I'm excited. We're, this is only our second night in the camper. We're down at the Orlando RV Resort and uh, it's nice. It's beautiful here. And we're gonna be right next to Disney. We're gonna do our farewell to Disney in a couple days. And uh, that'll be the last that we will be in the Orlando area for quite some time. If you wanna follow along with some of the automotive shenanigans or travel shenanigans, hit up the Wanderer channel for the travel and uh, make sure you subscribe here, Ride the Car Guy 2 for uh, any automotive stuff I'm able to get out. We're actually very close. I think we have like 69 or 68 more subscribers so we can monetize this channel, so that's pretty cool. Uh, help me out by subscribing and, uh, and we'll get to that goal. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for always being flexible and, and watching my content. And, uh, and that's it, man. See you guys later.